Right now in Michigan, there is a need to get more teachers in the classroom. Districts struggling to fill openings, and when it comes to special education positions, the problem is even greater. But now there's a new option, hoping to attract more people to the field. Sat down with an Ionia general education teacher, making the switch now to special education, all thanks to a new grant. Whose heartbeat was he hearing, Ashley? His own. His own. Keeping the attention of eighth graders is no easy task. What could they have done instead? about the eye. Right, just gotten rid of the eye instead of taking the life of the old man. Let alone keeping their attention while talking about literature published nearly 200 years ago. He murdered a man, you know, because he didn't like his eye. Um, but was he truly insane? And that's what we're going to try to prove. But here at Ionia Middle School, that's exactly what Mrs. Campbell is doing as she discusses Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Heart. And she's been doing it now for more than two decades. And to see the enthusiasm and how excited they are, it's amazing. And while she's mastered the art of bringing literature to life, she's now embarking on a new set of skills through the Grow Your Own program. Special education, I've always been drawn to. The state-funded grant allows district employees like Mrs. Campbell to get additional endorsements or initial certification to qualify them to fill needed roles, especially in special education, all free of charge. It's a role districts all over Michigan are struggling to fill. It is a theme throughout the state um, where we have to staff um, classrooms that require specialized instruction, special, specialized personnel, um, unfortunately with uncertified individuals. It's a move James News, the director of special education at Ionia Public Schools, says is really becoming more common nationwide when it comes to special education. We've really had a shortage in this country since 1998. 60 or 70% of the school districts in the state have at least one opening in special education. Mark Moody works directly with prospective special education teachers at CMU and says there's a number of factors leading to this shortage, including extra schooling and workload. Collecting data, looking at data, um, determining interventions and strategies for students, and, and it's time consuming. And generally speaking, the extra time spent in the classroom doesn't mean extra money for those positions. And with this grant, we're going to be able to offer people an opportunity to, to do so with no, no cost on their own, no student loans, um, no private loans. My classes are all online through Central Michigan University, and you kind of go at your own pace. The defense is going to say that he was not guilty by reason of insanity. For Mrs. Campbell, her journey to getting endorsed in special education is just getting started. She's one of at least five people in the Ionia School District utilizing the grant to fill special education positions. And she says without it, this wouldn't be possible. It's opened the doors, a door that would not have been opened otherwise. And I'm so excited for this.